To record this moment. There, right there? I just slipped in front of my ass. And then I went to work. And then in work, I was like, holy shit, my phone's not there. It had to have fallen out when I slipped and fell on my fucking ass. And I just ran out of work before I clocked in. Skated all the way down. And it was still there. Phone! Phone! Okay, lesson. Don't keep your phone in your back pocket. I am officially never putting my phone in my back pocket again. Never. Alright, this is the second time second time that my phone has fallen out after falling on a skateboard because my phone was in my ass pocket and it slipped out and I didn't notice and I just got back up and kept going it's the second time so lesson guys if you're a skater or like you you do a thing that happens to involve a lot of falling phone in the back pocket is just not a good idea ever like ever the first time I didn't find my phone for several hours and some random person picked it up and like seven or eight hours later I called the phone and they answered and they gave it back to me lucky as heck only God did that but like just so that God doesn't have to intervene with your silliness. Just don't put your phone in your back pocket. Save everybody the trouble. Luckily, the swarm of homeless people didn't pick up my phone instantly while I was over there. Ha ha ha! Awesome. Okay, goodbye. Hello! It's after work, Jaden. December 10th. I am returning from my job skating atop the bridge. My new skateboard. Look at it. It glows in the dark. Wow. So cool, dude. How did you manage to get a skateboard like that? Wow. You are the, like, the coolest guy in town now. But, yeah, so... I got a new skateboard. I'm out here just thinking about life as I tend to do. And I just be thinking about how most of the time we really do just be needing to chill out. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. And I know it sounds dumb. I know it sounds dumb. But hear me out. Hear me out. Most of the problems that we have happen because either we or someone else in our life could have just chilled the fuck out and either they or you didn't and then problems start because then once somebody else starts getting not chill like totally not chill, yeah totally not chill then the other person has a hard time keeping their chill so now suddenly they're going into not chill mode and now it just has to keep going. Then it's like a competition to see who can be not chill the hardest. Because the other one is judged weaker if they do not. <sighs> Quote unquote. That's not actual fact. But that is what people think. Or they feel it emotionally in their minds. Even if it's unjust. It's usually unjust, actually. Anyway, what was I talking about? Sorry, y'all. I just like I didn't sleep. Oh yeah, let me let me, let me go back to what I was finishing before I say some other thing. Yeah, and and there's remember think of all those situations where like you went to go have an interaction with someone and you were like worried that they were gonna have some crazy response and then like surprisingly out of nowhere they were just super chill and things just worked out and you think about how good you felt when that happened that was a great feeling i know mine when those things happen it feels great think about it that shit was an amazing feeling it just made like 
all the situation is better. So, like, imagine if everyone did that, you know? And you gotta think, okay, well, people are still gonna do bad things, and then all I have to say is this applies to them as well. People do bad things because they're just not being fucking chill. They're not chilling, doing the opposite of chilling the fuck out. Relax. Take it easy. People are like, you can't afford to take it easy in this world. It's cutthroat. You gotta do what you gotta do. And it's like, nah, bro. For real. Nah. You only get one of these motherfuckers. One of these lives. That's it. To our knowledge. And you're gonna spend the majority of your life not doing your best to enjoy what's going on, even if it's a little bit to enjoy. Not trying to take advantage of that. Just appreciate being alive. There's people, I don't care who you are, there's someone with a worse off life than you, and they are not freaking out about it as much as you are. They're actually dealing with it and doing their best, doing their best to be chill. They're figuring it out. And those are the good people that you meet that are just chill. I get it. A lot of people, if not most people, don't really have the chill aspect. And I get it. Because I wasn't always chill, okay? I wasn't always chill. This is a recent thing. This whole chill. This is recent. just now learning it and all those things that I said to you apply to me There's so many situations that like if I had just like chilled out <laughs> and not went all skadoodly doodly then things would have they might not have been like the best that they could but they could they didn't have to be as bad as they were you know what I mean like think about all those bad things that happened right and then all the moments after so, like, obviously the bad moments that happen are whatever that was, I just ran over it. But I think about, think about those times when bad things happen to you and how, like, in the moment is bad and everyone has to go through this. But there's all, there's all those moments after where, like, the thing isn't directly happening to you in that moment kind of got a little bit of leeway before it kind of pops up again it makes itself known but like all those moments in between could be enjoyed for real like if you got if, if sadness has got to come because obviously it does if sadness has got to come then let sadness be where sadness should be it doesn't have to be everywhere and it doesn't have to corrupt everything I don't know how badly it feels to hold it back sometimes, but trust, it does help in the long run. In the long run, if you don't let it get to you, then you'll be so much happier looking back at your life. Because while, yes, yeah, sometimes in the moment, you will feel not so great about it, think about all those things that you did that felt good in the moment, but whenever you think about them, they just... They just make you upset. You're like, damn, I can't believe I did that shit. But in the moment, it felt really great. You know? It goes in the opposite direction. There's a lot of things that are going to feel a little bad now. But if you handle it right, do your best to have a forward headed mind. Then when you look back at those memories... You'll be able to actually think to yourself, well, yeah, it was annoying in the moment, but man, I actually did that. That was so amazing. I loved, I love that memory. It's an amazing memory. Like, adventurers and explorers. I, I kid you not, during the adventure, most adventurers, I, I know, speaking as an adventurer myself, all right, you, got, you guys know the things that I've done. So I, I'd be adventuring. In the moment, it's usually fucking terrifying. You know, full of surprises. You never know what's going to happen. You always got to be ready. This whole nervous feeling. And then you like, you think back on it. 
and those memories are awesome. You feel like good about it because you were courageous in the moment and you did your best. Like those feelings are so much better to live with because moments are just moments. Like right now, if you're watching this video, you're in this moment with me. But after this moment ends, this moment ends. It doesn't matter what you do. Sure, you could rewatch the video, but it's not going to feel the same. You've heard my words, and now this moment is going to be isolated in time, in the universe. There's nothing you can do to recreate this exact moment at all. Because of all the numerous things that are happening around you. Even if you matched every physical detail up to the cube, different things are going on around you. When you first watched this video, maybe some people you know were fighting in the other room. The next time you watch that video, you can't say for sure that they're going to be fighting. And if they are, they're not going to be fighting about the same thing. And if they are, they're definitely not going to be saying the exact same things. And if they are, then they're robots. And then you can just, you know, cross off the whole you section. Things that you can control and then move to, like, another country and then it'll be different, okay? You're not going to put in a time loop. I know that was pretty random, but I don't care. Metaphors are good and they work. So you understand what I'm trying to say. So because of that, you only get one of these moments. One of these moments where you're sitting there going, getting annoyed because I make all these weird, strange uh, ideas in my head that don't make a lot of sense. <sighs> to you, at least. <laughs> You only get one. And the rest of your life, for all of those other moments that you have, you're going to have to live with all your choices. And live with all the things that you did. And if they felt good in the moment, but don't feel good after, guess what? There's no going back. You got to live with that. You got to live with that forever. And ever. And that's just about it. So do your best to do things that you can look back fondly on, okay? These memories need to be good memories. Good memories. Oh. Anyway, I think that's about it. Because right now all you're hearing is like lots of skateboard sounds. And the sound of me talking. But who knows? Maybe you'll like the sound of me talking. Hee 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 hee. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take that as a no. Did not like the way that I sounded. Okay. Understood. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs>